resting, Al Ahli knows no rest from clenching the Egyptian League, winning the CAF Champions League, halving the Egypt Cup and a bronze medal in FIFA Club World Cup. Now they are getting ready to compete to decorate our logo with a new star, the 10th star. It's Yom Na'atwa and you are watching Al Ahli Online TV English News, getting you the top weekly news of the club of the century. So let's start with the headlines. Al Ahli opened Champions League group stage with a 3 to 0 victory over Il Mavrikh. Al Ahli secure biggest victory in match day one of CAF Champions League group stage. Musimani expresses his happiness with Boalia's goal. El Khatib Elias Medebo exchange jerseys and shields. Abdul Hafiz, we delivered a strong performance. After Al Ahli's victories, Al Ahli to face Tanzania Simba. Al Ahli managed to defeat Al Marikh of Sudan 3 0 in our opening game of the CAF Champions League group stage. The Red Eagles came out on the top of Group A after scoring three goals in the match. In the 57th minute, Mohamed Ani delivered a brilliant cross aimed for Afsha who put the ball into the net to open the score. In the 63 minute, Ajaye controlled the ball and provided a beautiful shot to Mahmoud Goraba, who handed us a 2-0 lead. We kept our pressure on the Sudanese team and in the 71 minute, Boalia's moment of glory came as he managed to open his goal-scoring tally with a first-time left-footed effort from inside the box. In the 78th minute, El Marikh had a dangerous scoring opportunity, but as always, Ishindawi was there when called upon. The final minutes went on and Al Ali had no time to score more goals as the referee blew his final whistle to declare an important victory for the Red Eagles. Al Ali secured biggest victory in match day one of CAF Champions League group stage. 3-0 victory over Al Marikh of Sudan is the biggest in all games of match day one of the CAF Champions League group stage. The Red Eagles are now leading the group by goal difference, ahead of Tanzania and Simba, who defeated Congo's Vita Club at 1-0. Musimani expresses his happiness with Boalia's goal. After the match, Musimani commented on the match saying that they scored late, but in the end, they managed to secure our first three points in the 2021 CAF Champions League group stage. The opponents stood their ground during the first half, but once we scored the opener, we controlled the game. And he commented on the team's playing style that he kept the team's tactics the same even before scoring the goals and that they depended on the wings as El Marikh were blocking the center of the field. The crosses played an important role in the victory as Afsha managed to score the opener from Hannes Cross. He also commented on the team's absence that they missed five starters in today's game. Also, he preferred to rest some players such as Hamdi Fathi and he gave playing time to Sad Samir, Mahmoud Wahid and Ahmad Ramadan as they didn't participate in the previous games. And finally, he expressed his happiness for Boalia's first goal. El Khatib Elias Medebo exchanged jerseys and shields. Al Ahli President Captain Mahmoud Al Khatib received Sudan's ambassador to Egypt, Mohammed Ilyas, and Al Marikh Vice President Al Sadiq Madibu, who both congratulated Al Ahli on winning the bronze medal in the FIFA Club World Cup. Also, our President Captain Mahmoud Al Khatib handed the club's shield and jersey to the ambassador Ilyas Al Madibu, while both Madibu and Ilyas handed Al Marikh's shield and jersey to Captain Al Khatib. Abdel Hafiz expressed his feeling after Al Ahli victory, saying that he is delighted that Walter Boalia scored his first goal for Al Ahli. He also expressed his happiness that Saad Samir is back to participate with the team, while Adaye put on a solid performance despite being sidelined for a while. He declared that the team's plan for the next match, as they will travel to Tanzania on Friday to prepare for the upcoming match against Simba. He said that they are a great team and they play beautiful football and they hope to play a good game against them and return to Cairo with three points. He also declared that Al Ahli's players are responsible. However, he issued a decision to impose a fine if any player in the team addresses in the media in order to make the players more concentrated on the upcoming games. 
Al Ahli are set to face Tanzania Simba on Tuesday, 23rd of February, and match day two of the CAF Champions League group stage. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News. From Al Ahli Bia Salam Stadium, I'm Yumna Atwa. See you next week.